Hey, this is Mike. I'm in Whiteville, North Carolina, visiting Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. And I'm really excited to show you this vehicle. It's a 2016 Dodge Charger RT. Yes, with the Hemi. It does have a Hemi in it. So this one is in the granite color. Really awesome looking. And 20 inch aluminum, kind of a smoked aluminum wheel here with a four wheel disc brakes four-wheel ventilated disc brakes that is really like these wheels 20 inch really big wheels uh, compared to the vehicle they really stand out but they match the vehicle perfectly as far as the size they don't look oversized but man do they look good the sheen and color of these amazing with the granite color let's take a look get a profile look here so let's take a look here in the front. I'd really highly recommend some tint on those windows. But anyways, here in the front we have HID bifunction projector headlights here. Now they will, they serve for the high and low beams. The projector does. It refocuses for the high beams and their HIDs. Plus you have the LED fog lights down here at the bottom, which will look really stunning. And if you've ever seen one of these on the road, they have this. Uh, basically right around the outside a daytime running light that looks amazing we're gonna check out everything so this is what the key looks like it's just basically a key fob you have the Dodge emblem on one side and then you have some buttons here you have a panic button trunk release lock and unlock but you also have a remote start button so you just have to make sure the vehicle is locked and you can double tap that and it'll start right up. It starts up that Hemi. So now that it started, you can see some of the daytime running lights here in the front. But I wanna go ahead and show you, this is a proximity key. So this key is designed, as long as I have it in my pocket, basically I can use this vehicle completely all I have to do right now it's locked and all I have to do is put my hand behind the handle and it unlocks just put my hand back there it locks unlocks I push this button to relock it so it's very intuitive as far as getting in the vehicle and using the vehicle uh, without actually you know taking the key out of my pocket here's the inside of the driver's door uh, passenger door I'm sorry and you have these accent stitching here in the back Pretty much everything around your arm is soft to the touch. And you have this little pocket system down here at the bottom for with a bottle holder and everything. Really sporty looking design and a very large door. Easy to get in and out of this vehicle. Okay, so you have the power adjustable seats here on the passenger side with the power lumbar support. And it'll go up and down, in and out. So you can really fine tune your lumbar support position there. And then look at the bolstering. The bolstering is wide enough to where you're not like in, it's not like intrusing intruding on your body or anything but uh but it's it's significant enough to where it just kind of it's just perfect for me anyways for my, my body size so check out the leg room plenty of leg room here you have a loggable glove compartment all felt lined with a little shelf system in there so you can keep everything disorganized all right let's take a look here in the back Plenty of room back here as well. Same styling on the door, a little bit smaller door of course. But look at that, plenty of leg room. You have a little bit of a recessed seat where it, uh, you still have some bolstering. So the seats here in the back are heat heated. Uh, the front seats are heated and cooled. And the heated seat buttons are right here. And then you have some USB chargers, which is awesome. This folds down and you have some cup holders and armrests. And it looks like you have some ambient light there in the cup holders too. That's pretty cool. These seats do fold down in case you need some more cargo space in the in the trunk. Uh, real easy to fold those down. 60-40 split fashion. So here in the back we have dual exhaust to let that 5.7 liter Hemi breathe. And then you have some parking sensors across the back. These little round circles are the parking sensors. And opening up the trunk is... There's a couple ways to do it. One way is to use the, the remote control here. 
and double tap that. Another way is to push this button and it'll open it up. As long as the vehicle's unlocked, you got the key with you, uh, it'll open up. Okay, so here is the trunk. Massive, massive trunk space. You have some grocery bag holders. You have two points of light to help you out with at nighttime. Everything's covered up well. Also, you can fold those seats down. It's a 60-40 split, so you can have a you know combination of cargo and passenger space there in the back if you need to. You have a little place to put. There's a net there, and you have places to hook that up. So under here is your uh, battery, and you have a tire inflator kit in this model. Uh, but you can also have a spare tire back here if you wanted to. Besides a uh, instead of the tire inflator kit. So the fuel door is on the driver's side, and here's a little release for it. It's kind of hidden there, so you don't accidentally hit it. And right here on the driver's side, you have a capless design. So basically, you just put the nozzle in there, fill it full of fuel, and it's telling you you don't need a cap. It has this little rubber thing to, you know, kind of help prevent some water getting in there. But uh, I think it has a two-stage system to where even if water were to get in here, it's not actually going to get in the tank. So starting the vehicle... As long as the key is actually inside the vehicle, which it is, you just put your foot on the brake and push the remote, push the button there. And it'll start up for you. So let's take a look under the hood. So opening the hood right here in the center is a little, little bit to the right of center is a little lever. You just move it to the left, lift up the hood a few inches and it goes up the rest of the way by itself. So there it is. Well, it's actually underneath this big cover, plastic cover, which uh, I'd prefer not to see the cover. I'd rather see the engine. But anyways, under there is a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 engine, 370 horsepower, 395 pound-feet of torque. That's some serious torque, because that's what actually gets you going. This is a beast of an engine. It also uses um, a, like a cylinder... Uh, management system to where it can run on four cylinders instead of eight when you don't need all the power. It also has uh, like a VVT system as well. Really, really awesome engine. You got to take one for a test test drive if you're even remotely thinking about buying this vehicle. You have to drive one right away. Okay, so here is the driver's inside of the driver's door. It's basically similar to the other side except for it has some more buttons. We saw the fuel button there, uh, the power door locks, power windows side mirror controls and your presets here for your uh, power seat uh, front windows are not only are they automatic but they also have a laminated uh, windshield system with a, a little bit of um, acoustic material between them sandwiched between to help cut down on outside noise which is pretty awesome okay so your power seat is here with the lumbar support just like the other side perforated leather seats looking awesome love them so your headlight controls are here you have an automatic feature you have off parking lights and headlights and to turn on your uh, fog lights you just push that button like so and then you have a dimmer switch for your interior gauges but also you have a dimmer switch for your ambient light which is awesome and there is another way to open up the trunk um, right there so that's three ways so far Okay, so here we are on the inside, 2016 Dodge Charger RT, really sweet vehicle, plenty of legroom, tons of legroom, extremely comfortable seats, um, it's hard to say anything negative about this car, it's just amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the steering wheel, it is a tilt and telescoping, really smooth tilt and telescoping uh, column here, and has a little locker lever to put it in place okay so leather wrapped smooth feeling leather wrapped steering wheel really awesome with the bolsters here on the sides stitched on the inside sporty looking sporty feeling really awesome so you have your cruise control here on the right uh, you just have to make sure it's turned on you can set it with either one of these buttons change your speed resume and cancel there on the back of the steering wheel here just below this paddle shifter it does have the paddle shifter here for the eight-speed transmission 
but just below it there is a, a toggle switch with a center button and that is for your volume up and down and then the center button changes AM FM satellite radio that kind of stuff on the left side on the back just below the other paddle shifter is your the ability to change through the stations back here and the center button is for uh, cycling through your presets which is a pretty awesome paddle shifters are awesome as well of course you have your Bluetooth phone buttons down here voice recognition highly recommend uh, learning how to use the voice recognition system because it is a very good a convenience and safety feature you can make calls receive calls you can go to different radio stations you can do everything pretty much just by speaking while your hands are on the wheel eyes on the road really awesome windshield wipers are there and your turn signals okay so here's your gauges really sporty looking gauges you have the red and look at the numbering the the font for the numbering is really awesome really sporty looking you have your range which this is you, this is customizable stuff here you can change this if you want outside temperature you got your range you have your rpms there on the left and your speedometer there on the right and that awesome that red is it just me so then you have this digital speedometer here in the center plus what gear you're in and then your um your temperature right here but this center information uh, you can cycle through that with these uh, arrows and this OK button so I'm going to push the down arrow and you'll see this is actually a part of a menu system so right now the first option was digital speedometer scrolling down goes into vehicle info and you can see that there's these little bars here at the bottom showing there's more information to the right so you can get the tire pressure okay so we started the tire pressure then we go to the uh, coolant temperature transmission temperature which is awesome oil temperature oil pressure oil life and battery voltage goes back to tire pressure so you can see it has like a um like a, a digital type gauge system so it's really easy to read and it's sporty looking scrolling down again goes to fuel economy so you can get some real time and averages there and then you have trips you have a trip a and a trip b and it gives you your time uh there at the bottom you also have average miles per gallon and your distance scrolling down again just tells you what your radio is doing your audio stored messages will show up here like say you know telling you if the tire is low or if it's time to change your oil that kind of stuff and screen setup this is where you can change those things on the corners and it goes back to the digital speedometer which is kind of like the default screen at least that's what it would be for me Okay, so over here we have the center stack, 8.4 liter, Uconnect touchscreen system, really easy to use, one of the best ones out there. Uh, so let's take a look at it. Right now we have some icons at the very bottom. So right now we're at the radio screen and you have your presets at the top. You have AM, FM, satellite radio as an option. You can adjust your audio right here and then you can, um, you know, browse through different genres and stuff like that. And going to the next one is media. This is where you can play music in ways other than the satellite radio and different radio stations USB auxiliary input Bluetooth audio and SD card lots of different ways of playing music through the sound system sounds really good as well okay so going in here is your controls this is where you can turn your heated steering wheel on ventilated and heated seats on both the driver and the passenger side you can also turn off your auto dim mirror here you can also turn off the screen just the whole screen if you want to in case you don't want to actually you know if it's just distracting you or whatever uh, so that's pretty cool under the controls plus you have tons of different settings uh, you can go in there and change the if the, like if it beeps when you lock the doors and stuff like that lots of different settings you can pair your phone and all that stuff so the apps are right the apps basically is all the different things that they're just gonna like pile on everything so like your phone when you click the apps is just like all these different um, all these different programs I guess you could say but there's also controls such as a car so like your heated seats and stuff but you can have iHeartRadio and aha you also have the ability to play music through um, like Pandora and stuff and there's another screen here so there's your Pandora and oh travel link which is pretty cool you have lots of different cool features here in the apps and then you have a Wi-Fi hotspot uh, ability to use that but anyways let's go on to climate uh, your climate control is controlled here and down below which I'll show you in a second you have your temperature where you want the air to blow and then your fan speed is here and you can sync both of them the driver and passenger um, are separate or you can have them the same either one 
Uh, the next icon is just turning your screen off, and I'm kind of curious as to why they put that there, uh, since it has it on the other screen. And then you have the uh, cell phone. So once you pair your Bluetooth phone with the system, uh, you'll have favorites there at the top. You have access to your phone book, recent calls. You have a dial pad. You could transfer back to your cell phone in case you need to have a private call. Um, you'll have like a, um, what do you call it? Who's calling, your caller ID, and all that stuff too as well. So that's kind of the main features there on your touchscreen. Really easy to use. You know, takes like literally uh, the first day you'll get, you'll pretty much get it. Once uh, once you go over it, everything, you'll you'll uh, be you'll be like a pro. So down here, we already saw the start start button. There you have your volume and your tune through your stations. Some of these are kind of redundant buttons for a uh, good reason. And you have a sport mode, which tells the vehicle you want to concentrate on performance and not fuel economy. And you have this back button for the screen. There's certain screens you can go back out. Your parking sensors, you can turn those off if you need to. Uh, if they're beeping at you, and you as you're backing up, uh, you can always turn them off if you know what you're doing. And then your traction control, you can turn that feature off. It's always on unless you turn it off. And then your climate control, temperatures, fan speed, and then you've got your defrosters and stuff like that around the outside. So most everything is on the screen, but you do have the, you know, the quick access stuff down here. 12 volt power supply there you notice it has a key on it because that turns on and off with the ignition then you have that storage pocket there which is very handy for quick access stuff so this is awesome this is your shifter and really comfortable shifter and let's go ahead and put it in reverse and you can see the backup camera pops up here also your parking sensors show that they're active and the backup camera, as you turn the steering wheel, you'll see that those guidelines turn as well, which is really cool to help you out with your estimated trajectory. And then you have your, you know, green, yellow, and red. Um, basically, don't get any closer than the red because that's really, really close. But you can see from the bumper to the sky all around, so there's no reason. You don't have any excuse if you actually hit something. Okay, so let's go down the neutral and then drive. This is your normal drive position. It'll cycle through the eight gear ratios. And, and what's interesting about this transmission, it has eight gears, but it doesn't have to cycle through all eight gears. It can actually skip gears depending on how you're driving, which is really cool. So let's move this over here to manual mode. And this is where you kind of like have a ratchet shifter. So you can change through the, the gears um, by just bumping it like that. And you'll know which gear you're in because it'll show you right here which gear you're in, first, second, and if you try to go too far out of range, it'll let you know it's out of range. Absolutely awesome transmission. You got to experience. Not, I mean, the engine is one thing, but the transmission paired with it is just amazing. All right, so that's you just go back to drive at any time if you need to, and then you go in the park. Really like comfortable shifter. Really awesome. You have a little Dodge Brothers thing going on there, designed in Detroit. This little storage pocket there. It's a good place to put a key, a key or whatever. So here's your cup holders and uh, have a little cover if you want to cover them up. I like that accent as well. And check out this kind of like a sporty uh, design there. So this is your center armrest and it's pretty good size. You can share it with your passenger, I guess. And this lifts up and under here is pretty cool because you have a little tray that comes out and you can dump it or whatever. And you have a 12 volt power supply this one has a battery on it because it's directly connected to the battery even if your vehicle's off this one's still active so you can charge your phone while you're going in the store or whatever and then you have your inputs here for sd card usb and auxiliary inputs for your radio and you'll notice that it has this um like a felt lining all the way around plus it has that rubber lining at the very bottom which is pretty awesome and it has a, uh, a place for your wires to go in and out. Right here in the front center, I don't know if you notice that, there's a little indentation, and there's a little indentation up here. So when you plug in a cell phone or something, you can run your wires right through there in the center, and that way they don't get pinched. Okay, so let's take a look at the rear view mirror. It's an auto dim rear view mirror and little light sensors back here. You have uh, microphones on the very top for your Bluetooth system, which is really handy. You have an assistance button and a 911. Literally, this vehicle will dial 911 
uh, by pushing that button. Even if you don't have a cell phone paired, you can push that. It automatically has its own cellular connection. So if you need help, uh, it's right there to push a button away. Now, if you push the button accidentally, it will give you 10 seconds to cancel it. Now, the assistance button is really handy because let's say you need to learn how to uh, set the clock. Well, you can, you just push that button and you can they'll step you on through on how to set the clock. Um, but it's real easy. But anyways, <laughs> the assistance button is for, assistance is for anything. Roadside assistance, how to set, pair your cell phone, whatever. You have any questions, you just push the button, talk to the people, they'll, they'll step you through it. Okay, so you have a place to put your shades right here. You got a tap light on both sides. And you have a little light. You have like a floodlight. And then you have a spotlight there. And then your garage door openers, home link garage door openers are there. And these are for your sunroof, which I'll show you in a second. Your visors have mirrors and lights. And you have this little thing that pops out there to help block the sun because it seems like the sun is always peeking his way through and around the visors okay so the sunroof it has a like a shade that blocks 100% of the light you can open it up you can vent the sunroof like so or you can open it up all the way which is handy And of course, you can always close the shade up and completely block it off. Okay, so let's take a look at the visibility here in the back. Not too shabby. Uh, low headrest, you got a big window back there. You've got um, the back windows, of course, to look around. So that's really good, especially considering you have a backup camera as well. Let's take a look at those back seats again the front seats love the interior of this vehicle everything about it is just awesome okay so let's take a look at the window sticker in case you want to use the pause button and check it out in more detail all right there you have it oh yeah the dash the dash is actually like a non-reflective material like a rubber material so it's really good at not glaring the sun in your face which is awesome so anyways uh thank you for watching and thank you to van underwood chrysler jeep dodge ram in whiteville north carolina for allowing me to show off an awesome car and i'll see you guys next time